Hi guys, this is Justin Calvert from GameSpot. I'm playing Toy Soldiers Cold War, and I'm going to show you how to get the Effective Tactician achievement. Uh, this achievement requires you to earn a Platinum Overall Medal uh, on any level, uh, playing on general difficulty. Uh, so I think the easiest level to do it on, uh, at least based on my experience, is Jungle Heat. This is the second level in the game. I'm going to restart from the beginning. Uh, so we're going to do this on general difficulty. Uh, and so yeah, so to get the overall Platinum Medal, you have to get three gold medals. Uh, so that's one for speed, so you have to you know, kill enemy waves quickly and also you know, as, they, as they're ready, hit X to have them come at you quickly. Don't wait for them. Uh, defense, so you can't let a single enemy unit into your base, otherwise you don't get gold. Uh, and money, you have to be very frugal with your spending. Uh, only build turrets that you absolutely have to. Uh, only repair them when you absolutely have to. Uh, and as you'll see, I don't do much in the way of upgrading. Uh, so on general difficulty, all you can do is place turrets uh, and upgrade and repair them. Uh, you can't uh, use them, you know, you can't man them yourself, uh, you can't use vehicles, so you don't get to use any of the new barrage abilities or anything like that. Uh, so here you see the artillery is making short work of the first couple waves of infantry here. Uh, and then I've just built a machine gun behind it in case it needs to mop up you know, any stray guys that the artillery misses. Uh, there's definitely a, a sort of element of luck in this mode. Uh, you know, you're not really sure how the AI is going to behave, so every now and then, you know, a guy might get lucky and, and slip past your defense. Uh, so now I've started building anti-tank turrets. Uh, not ideal when you've got waves of infantry coming at you, but as this level progresses, uh, you get less infantry and more vehicles coming at you. So rather than build, uh, you know, anti-infantry guns and then have to sell and replace them, which all cost money, uh, I just bought the anti-tank stuff right from the start. Uh, so another key to succeed in here is to keep your artillery busy. Like, if, if your artillery isn't doing anything, then, then you're doing something wrong. Uh, because there's almost always something within range of your artillery. So yeah, here you can see some guys that have made it past the artillery and the machine gun is so far doing a good job of mopping them up. Hopefully it's not going to let one pass. Uh, so we can start building some more anti-tank guns now. And I'm just going to upgrade this machine. Oh, I haven't quite got enough money right now. The, that machine gun is the, the one turret that I'll upgrade uh, because it's just, it's just too risky to have a, a machine gun here that isn't up to the task if, you know, if a little group of guys get past. So as soon as it's done with those... Is he dead? Yeah, I'm going to upgrade that machine gun. In the meantime, the artillery is taking care of those. Spin it around to the left, and it can start dealing with all this infantry. These guys swarm over to the left and get behind that rock. So I'll normally build a makeshift turret here. This is the one that fires the kind of poisonous bug spray. Uh, it does a pretty good job of crowd control, keeping all those guys in check. And since I have enough money, I'll put the last anti-tank turret there. Okay, so we'll let this maybe take one more shot at those guys, and then spin it around for the vehicles that are coming. Just want to make sure none of these guys get through. As long as their numbers are thinned out a lot, then the, the level 2 machine gun shouldn't have too much trouble getting rid of them. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on these turrets, make sure that they're not taking too much damage. Definitely don't want to lose a turret, because they're expensive to replace. Okay, hopefully my machine gun's smart enough. Yep, it's picking up those guys at the bottom. Okay, so there, another thing you can do, uh, it's not really necessary, as you can see, you know, the infantry aren't really posing too much of a threat. Uh, but if you click in the left stick, you can drop these uh, sort of lengths of barbed wire, um, rotate them with the bumpers, and they just slow infantry down. Uh, pretty significantly, actually. Um, so that's, you know, if you get unlucky and a, a bunch of infantry do make it past your other defenses, that, that really helps your machine gun out. Uh, and also, the barbed wire is really cheap, so you, you can definitely afford to put a bunch of it down, and it's not going to 
sort of hamper your chances of getting the gold medal for money. Okay, so now we're going to keep an eye on this turret. Sometimes it'll take enough damage that you do need to repair it. Uh, other times, you know, it might still have almost half health. Uh, we'll see how it goes this time. Looks like I might have to repair it. No, we're good. We'll leave it as it is for now. So now we get four waves of infantry, and we want them all coming at the same time. That's a really, you know, we just saved like 40 or 50 seconds doing that alone, just by having all those infantry coming together. Of course, it does mean we now have a lot of infantry coming. But uh, yeah, again, as long as we keep the in as long as we keep the artillery busy, see, it's, it's thinning all those out on that side. Maybe let it take one more shot over there. Then we'll point over to the left because there's a lot more guys coming. So far, so good. I'll be honest. It's taken me a few tries to uh, to get this right. I've done. I've beaten. I've I've got platinum on this a few times before, but every time I try and do it recording, you know, there'll be one guy that slips through and ruins the whole thing. Uh, so yeah, definitely don't feel bad if you don't succeed first time. Just just try again, and you'll get it eventually. Okay, so this tank, this uh, anti-tank turret is going to come under a lot of fire now. So before it gets killed, we'll be ready to repair it. Still, yeah, always keeping an eye at the top to see when new waves are ready, so that we can send them in. Actually, one thing I should say is that I'm. Uh, I'm doing this after having beaten the game, so I have all the turrets and everything available. Uh, I think if you try and do, you unlock general mode pretty early on, so if you were to try and do this, you know, as soon as you beat the second level, uh, I don't know if you'd have access to all of these turrets or not. Oh man, I forgot to turn my artillery around. You, you really need your artillery pointing at these guys as they come out because they, they get so bunched up. Uh, they're just like one big target for your artillery. I think we'll be okay though. Looking good so far. Okay, where are these tanks going to come from? Okay, they're coming from the left, so we'll spin that around a little. And then in a second, I'm going to trigger that, that wave coming from the right as well. And we're almost certainly going to have to repair one or two turrets now. This one definitely takes some damage. There we go, repair it. So when that one's repaired, the tanks start attacking the next one, which is the one I'm hovering over right now. But hopefully I won't need to repair either of those at this point. Maybe want to swing my artillery around so it can have a crack at these guys coming from the right. Let me just repair that one in time. Looks like this one. Yeah, I can get away without repairing it. I need to repair this one there. So now you can see, you know, I'm at the mercy of the AI now. If these AI turrets do their job, none of these tanks should get through. Uh, if it comes to it, I can swing the artillery around to point at my base, and we might just sort of catch one at the last minute just before it goes in. I think I'm going to have to try that, the way this is looking. Yeah, I'm going to swing that around. Hopefully I can get a couple shots off and stop those tanks from actually getting in. There you go, got those two. Hopefully I can get these as well. There we go, so none of those got in. Um, sometimes you'll have to do that with infantry as well. Like The artillery is actually pretty effective for that. So now this is the last wave. Uh, it's all vehicles, so... Once these uh, last few guys are mopped up, we can, we can get rid of the anti-infantry turrets that we built to save some more money. Uh, I think I'm going to repair that one. Don't want to risk losing it. Got plenty of money. Uh, I think you, you get gold for... I don't know. I feel like I've got gold for this with as little as sort of 18,000 in the bank at the end of the level. Uh, I normally aim to have at least 20,000, and of course... You know, the more you have, the better, because then you get a higher score. Uh, so now I'm keeping an eye on a number of units that are still alive in the top right-hand corner. 
As that number goes down, I'm going to slowly start selling off the turrets. Just to have more and more money. Okay, so now we're down to one turret and one tank. And that turret had better finish him off. There we go. And that's it. And then we should be gold for everything. There we go. And that's platinum medal. And uh, that's actually my highest score on this level so far.